Chapter 5 Season 2 is going to be a Greek mythology themed season with a boss that shoots a lightning and the return of the Great Midas. You see, currently the map is divided into two different groups, underground versus a society. We are witnessing a start of a war that's coming up and this is all based on this map which is located in Europe. And we know this because of few things. If you look at the buildings, they resemble the architecture from south of France, Italy and Greek. And also lots of people have noticed that sometime you get announcement if you go to train stations, they actually speak the language Greek. Now Fortnite being located in Greece actually plays a huge part in Chapter 5 Season 2. That is because of this man called Montague. Montague is a leader of the society group. You might have noticed this logo everywhere around the map and that is because the society rules the current Chapter 5 map. Montague, also known as the leader, is a rich diamond king who can turn into diamond. Ever since he got on the island, he has this plan to create this perfect society. He has built stations, he has built trains, big hotels. He has also put in place a bunch of guards around the Fortnite map to control everyone. There is a legend that Montague is in fact one of the children's Zeus turned them into diamonds. And Zeus is a Greek mythology god and it is believed he's going to be a boss on the map in chapter 5 season 2. Montague has hired a bunch of people since he created the society and the first person he hires is his right hand woman called Valerie. Valerie has the power of a phoenix. She has the power of the fire. Now she's the brain of this organization. She has been studying about the history of the Fortnite ever since she joined the society. If you go to her base you will find a library with books about Fortnite, the Zero Point, the Imagine Order. If you look at this loading screen it looks like she's reading a book on this mysterious device with this giant crystal which looks like the Doomsday device. Does this mean that the society are trying to recreate the Doomsday device? Maybe they think that this perfect society cannot be created in this loop because they know what happened to the Imagine Order. Also in the same book you can see this mysterious butterfly. Maybe the society are going to create a Doomsday device but this device is going to be more powerful than the original one. Montague now has the brain of the society. Now he needs the muscle. He needs someone to do the dirty work because Montague believed to get this perfect society you need to fight and to fight you need an army. So he hires this tiger called Oscar also known as the hunter. His responsibility is to hire a bunch of guards and post them around the Fortnite map. Oscar is the newest member of the group. He's actually a very honest man but he's very loyal at the same time and he will do anything. Oscar was the one who actually kidnapped Apili and that order came directly from Valerie. Next Montague wanted to hire someone who's very skilled at fighting so he hired Nisha. Nisha is a master swordsman and she has defeated many opponents. And finally the final member of the society is Peter Griffin. With the help of Meowsicle who gave him this slurp that turned him into this muscular person. He showed up on the map and Montague hired him and now he lives in this huge mansion and wears a golden armored suit. Not everyone agrees with Montague. They don't like the total control of the society. So to fight this we have this group called the Underground. Now this Underground is a very new group and they don't really have that many members yet. The group was founded by Hope, who's actually sister of Valerie. They were orphans, but both of them were very smart. Both of them had big dreams, but as they got older, they realized that both of their dreams were different. Valerie wanted to use her intellectual to control the world, but Hope wanted a fair and safe world. And that is the reason 
why Valerie joined the society and Hope created this organization called the Underground. Hope wanted to grow this group and recruit people because without people this mission would be impossible. She tried to hire Oscar but he joined the society as well. This was looking impossible until Agent Jones showed up on the map. As we all know that Agent Jones came from the OG Fortnite map on a time machine and when he arrived on the map he notices something wrong. He sees this world with this organization called the Society run by this evil man and a woman with bunch of guards around the map. He immediately thought about the Imagine Order. He saw Jano in Montague, the evil Dr. Sloan in Valerie. He sees the society trying to do exactly what the IO did and he wanted to stop this. And that is when he learned about the underground and met Hope. And ever since then he has been helping Hope fight against the society. The underground has hidden bases around the map to hide from the society. They've built bases in sewers, broken buildings. See the society didn't really care about the underground before Jones arrived and joined the group because they were not a threat. But as soon as they learned that Jonesy now is part of the society, they became an instant threat. And that is because Valerie, like I said, has been studying about the history of Fortnite and she knows everything about Agent Jones. She knows that Agent Jones is very dangerous. Without Agent Jones, the Seven would have never defeated the Imagine Order. And that is when the society kidnaps Peely, who's someone that's helping the underground and is actually close friend of Jonesy as well. And the reason why they kidnapped Peely is to send a message to the underground that they're going to fight and will stop them at any cost. And this has made Agent Jones and Hope very angry and they're ready to fight. So far, we know that there's three members part of the underground, but it looks like there might be a mysterious fourth member as well. And it looks like the society is aware of this because if you look at these monitors, you can can see Agent Jones, Hope, Peely, and we have the fourth monitor as well. What if that fourth member is actually a mole in the society? And I think that mole could be either Nisha or Oscar, because both of them are actually new members of the society. And since they have joined the society, they're actually important parts of this group, meaning they have a lot of information like the possible recreation of the Doomsday device. If you go to one of the underground's main base, you will find a folder with Midas's face on it. So whoever this mole is has fed information about the doomsday device to the underground. And now the underground is doing their research on Midas who actually created the doomsday device in the first place. There are lots of Midas's Easter egg on the map at this chapter. Everything is pointing towards the return of Midas. And that makes a lot of sense because this chapter 5 map is in fact a redesigned version of chapter 2 map. Because obviously we came from the OG Fortnite, we had this huge black hole. If you look at the map itself, it looks very similar to the chapter 2 map. There is a lake right in the middle of the map. Lots of people are saying that the zero point is inside of this lake. We will see the agency at this location because you can find this portrait on the map. At this location which reminds us of TNT's location in chapter 2. In one of the buildings on the map you will find this chair. Now this chair belongs to Midas. Most importantly the Marigold Yacht which is owned by Midas is on the map right now. This shows that Midas is going to return next season but unlike chapter 2 season 2 which was themed around heist next season chapter 5 season Season 2 is going to be themed around Greek mythology. Leakers has revealed that next season we are going to 
get Zeus, who is going to be a boss on the map. And he is going to hit you with a lightning bolt. And if you get hit by it, you will get damage over time. You will also get a bunch of these skins as well in the battle pass and in the item shop. Now, these are all characters from the Greek mythology. You can see Medusa, Apollo, Ares. And if you didn't know, Midas is part of the Greek mythology as well. If you're excited for chapter 5, please leave a like, subscribe and use code SMJM.